um, from my end, it's pretty much easy. And that's the reason why I started Pitch Perfect. So it's pretty much like a platform for everyone to do so. Uh, but of course, in terms of the techniques itself, uh, well, you've got the direct connection around here, so this is one way of doing things. Uh, each investor will have their own personal values. Uh, if there's an individual investor, they have their own personal values. If there's a corporate or a firm investor, they also have on top the corporate kind of value that you have. So it's like looking for a girlfriend or boyfriend, and don't come up and say, okay, I'm so good that you have to be my girlfriend. So that sounds very salesy. And that's what we hate most of the time. It's like coming up to someone and say, hey, I've got this really great idea. It's so unique in this world. I'm the only one going to do it. Give me $7 billion. So, OK, why? Uh, so try not to be too salesy. It's very easy to capture our attention. Basically, you tell me what problem you're solving, generally, so I know that there's real people <coughs> have, having problems and you can solve them yourself, and what kind of money you're making already. I don't care if it's a one dollar or one million dollars or whatever. If your startup is small, fine. Uh, I've seen, I've mentored a lot different as well. So even at stage zero or whatever, I still mentor them at the same time. But then again, it's not about how big or small you are. Just tell me who you are at this point. Don't brag, don't lie to me, because we smell it immediately what you're trying to say. And just tell us, what kind of problems you're actually solving, and what kind of revenue or what kind of business are you actually doing, so that we know that you are actually running a business and not trying to just get funding, okay, as your own business moving forward. And, uh, and that's very important because, especially one of the things that we, we didn't mention was talking about how CEOs are these days. We see too many people focusing too much time on just getting on the news and not enough talking to customers. That's the worst part. Okay, you're fine, you're always on the news, but that does not translate to having good business. You might have good PR, but you don't have good business. And you're wasting a lot of time doing interviews, going to different places to, to just get a winning competition, et cetera, et cetera. That, doesn't, that may give you some edge. Um, of course, it goes, goes in parallel some of the times. But if it's too excessive and you're spending like 24 hours a day on that, then I know that, okay, how much time are you spending on the customer? That's the worst thing. Okay, uh, I, time is a little bit short. Uh, we'll still have the investor from later on in, in, uh, in well, when, uh, April time frame. Uh, we still have the networking around here, so let's thank you everyone for coming today. We're still here, Derek and I. Uh, if you've got questions, you can still answer, we can still answer it uh, as well. Exchange name cards and see how we can help you. And I, once again, thank you very much. Uh, we have the Pitch Perfect in March, so if you don't know what's happening, go to pitchperfectevent.com. Uh, most of you actually went to the website and <coughs> registered for it. Uh, but then again, thank you again. Uh, thank you to Vector for the wines. We still have the, the wines around here. And also Regis as well. If you want to see some of the offers around here, there is uh, a section for a company tour around here, so you can talk to Leo and uh, his, his colleague around here. So thank you everyone for coming today. Uh, thank you.